Hello friends, I'm Dr. Ali J. Electricwala, Consultant Joint Replacement and Orthopedic Surgeon, Pune. Today we shall talk about Total Knee Replacement Surgery. Total Knee Replacement is an operation performed for terminal osteoarthritis of the knee when all the articular cartilage of the knee joint has been denuded and the x-ray reveals a bone-on-bone -bone disease. Usually, at this point, all methods of conservative treatment fail to provide relief. Total knee replacement is actually not a replacement. In our terms, it's called as the total joint arthroplasty. The bones are not touched. It's the worn-out ends of the bone which are resurfaced and replaced by metal and plastic implants. There are two components to the total knee joint. As you can see, you have a metallic cap which covers the end of the femur bone and you have a plastic tray with a metallic tray which sits on the tibia bone. This ensures smooth, friction-free movement of the knee joint, removing the root problem. The duration of the surgery is essentially 45 minutes to 1 hour. The operation is performed under tunique control which minimizes any blood loss that may be happening during the surgery. The operation may be done under spinal or general anesthesia. Typically, a patient after total knee replacement requires hospitalization for 3 to 4 days. The day of surgery, the patient does require rest. The first day, our patients are out of bed and walking with the help of a walker. The second and third day, the patients are made to train commode training, also start with stair climbing. Usually, by the third or fourth day, the patient is discharged home. The operative pain is minimized by use of multimodal analgesia. In today's day and age of time, with better implants and newer surgical techniques, the success rates of this particular operation are roughly between 95 to 100%. The potential complications of total knee replacement surgery may involve pain, stiffness, and less than 1% risk of infection. Usually, at the end of one month, the patient is able to ambulate and get back to all his routine activities without any support. Usually, at the end of three months, our patients forget about their operation and they get moving with their lives.